Today we are going to walk you through replacing the electrode wires in an April Air steam humidifier. This maintenance should be performed by an HVAC contractor once every three years in order to keep the steam humidifier at peak performance. It's best to replace the wires at the same time as replacing a canister or when the wires are loose or damaged. The first thing that you're going to want to do is turn the unit off, which is going to force the unit to drain. When you push the off button, you'll hear the solenoid valve open, putting cold water down the drain. Then the drain valve will open and let the water run out of the canister. Wait four minutes to make sure all the water is out of the unit. After that four minutes, the green LED will stop flashing and both valves will shut. Next, cut the power to the unit by turning the unit off at the breaker. Now you can take the cover off the steam humidifier. Loosen the screws at the bottom and slide the cover off. In order to gain access to the printed circuit board and remove the electrode leads, you will have to remove the side access panel. To do so requires removing two screws using either a Phillips head screwdriver or a drill and then pulling from the front and side to remove the side access panel. On top of the canister, there are two electrode wires with black connectors and a yellow high water pin with a red connector. Pull those off. There's no polarity, so the electrode wires can be reattached to either of the corresponding pins. Loosen the hose clamp at the top of the canister and slide the steam hose off. With everything disconnected, you can now remove and discard the old canister. Disconnect the electrode wires from the printed circuit board and then discard them. For models manufactured prior to November of 2014, one of the two new electrode wires will be installed through a large metal ring called the toroid. For models manufactured after November 2014, both wires will plug directly into the printed circuit board. Feed the electrode wires through the opening between the steam chamber and the electrical panel and connect them to the terminals on the PCB. Ensure that the quick connect terminals are pushed down thoroughly. They should be snug and not easily removed. Solid contact is required for the best performance. Now that you've replaced the electrode wires and you've ensured that their connection is secure, it's time to replace the side panel. To do this, first you slip the back side of the panel to the back of the steam humidifier, then ease the front through, ensuring that the tabs at the top and bottom are behind the metal of the steam cabinet. Then you can reinsert the two screws and secure the panel tightly. Before installing a new canister, inspect drain assembly and remove any debris. If necessary, consult the drain valve cleaning procedure in the installation and maintenance manual. Use a small screwdriver to remove the O-ring currently in the unit and replace it with the one that came with your new canister. Dampen the O-ring with water, then push it down until it's seated into the groove inside the valve. Now, make sure that strainer is inserted at the bottom of the new canister and place the canister in the receptacle where you just placed that O-ring. Make sure that the label is facing out. Slip the steam hose over the top of the canister and tighten the hose clamp. Reattach the high water pin to the front pin and then reattach the two electrode wires. Again, it doesn't matter which one goes where, just attach them and push them all the way down so that they're nice and secure. Put the cover back on. Turn the power back on at the breaker. Turn the humidifier on and let it fill. After it's done filling, make sure there is no water coming out of the bottom of the unit and that the drain line is not blocked. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more information on April Air steam humidifiers and other products, visit aprilair.com.